Hi everyone, Stephanie Calhoun here answering your questions about yoga, meditation, Ayurveda, and life. So for privacy reasons, uh, today's question is coming to us from someone, a uh, good friend of mine that I will just call Jay. I know it's not Janelle from the previous question. So Jay's question was more of a, what do you think of this and how do I, how do I settle this? And the question revolves around having heart palpitations in the middle of the night and then the um, anxiety that gets produced as a result of that. Um, and she disclosed that she sometimes feel like, feels like it's kind of like heart marathons. So first and foremost, probably a good idea to go see your doctor. Just to rule out what might or might not be happening. Um, I do happen to know that there's a lot of transition going on in Jay's life at this particular time, so it could be a bit, could be a lot of things. I'm not here to diagnose, let's just get that straight. Um, could be a bit of anxiety and uh, a high stress reaction to the, the multiple transitions happening in Jay's life. So I'm going to look at this from a perspective of Ayurveda. So there's more kind of things I would need to know in terms of what's going on for Jay. Um, but first of all, um, if we look at heart palpitations, meaning the heart, in, in this particular reference that I was given, uh, the heart is beating rapidly, irregularly, pounding as though one was running a marathon. So, um, and waking up in the night this way. So first of all, when the heart is racing, when it's working really hard, that's an increase in movement. And from Ayurveda's perspective, we would look at this as an increase in vata. Vata is what moves things. So that increase in movement and a fast movement or palpitations being irregular, meaning it has one rhythm and then it changes, goes faster, maybe slows down again. This kind of back and forth, um, changeable nature, we would call it, is also a characteristic of vata, which means the presence of an abundant wind energy in your nature at this particular time. This is really common, mobility, movement, uh, changeable nature, when our own rhythms of nature are going through a lot of change. And again, Jay happens to be going through a lot of um, particular change in every realm of Jay's life at this time. Um, moving cities, change of career, um, changing friends, and the mobility itself of the movement back to uh, uh, or into a new place that, that we'll call home. So this is all increasing vata or the presence of wind. Because of this, one of the main characteristics that shows up as presence of vata in the mind is anxiety. And so logically, if you're waking in the night and having these symptoms of heart racing while you're at rest, that's unusual. So it is worth uh, mentioning to your doc and getting that checked out just to be sure. But also to know that it could be a sign, could be a sign that there's an increase of wind element uh, present at that particular time. Now my next sort of inquiry or question would be, what time of the night are you noticing this? So in Ayurveda, we have what we call an Ayurvedic clock meaning that these three primary divisions of time. So if we start at um, 10 and 2, so if we go from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., then that would be what we would call a pitta time or a high fire time. So 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is also a high fire time or pitta dominant time. Once we hit 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., or better yet, once we hit 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., then we're in what we call vata time. So in Ayurveda, like increases like. So if we're in vata time, meaning 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., if we use this reference of middle of the night, I'm waking up. If you're waking between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m., then you're waking up during vata time. So if it's vata time by the clock, that means there's automatically an abundance or an increase of wind element in nature around you, which can enhance and exacerbate or strengthen the amount of vata present in your own nature at that time. So if you're already feeling anxious with multiple transitions and you're waking up at that particular time of day, it's an indicator that your um, element of wind, which is air and ether combined, is being increased by the air and ether quality of wind in nature at that time of day according to the Ayurvedic clock. So in a sense, you could say it makes sense that you would be waking up at that time with those symptoms of racing heart, heart palpitations, etc. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. It's actually a sign of an imbalance. And it's a sign that one would need to decrease uh, the anxiety by helping to decrease uh, the presence of vata in the mind and the presence of vata in your life. 
some of these things aren't really within your control right now because of move and change in, in location of home, career, etc. But also in terms of, um, you know, how, what kind of things can you do in your own life to help settle the mind? Well, yoga and Ayurveda offer us the best, simplest practice that we can take anywhere with us, which is meditation. And if you don't have a particular meditation technique, if you're watching this and you're brand new to meditation, then as my teacher Sharon Salzberg always says, you always have your breath. Your breath is portable. That's the nice thing about it. So you could do a simple breath meditation, perhaps using a word to repeat like a mantra in your mind. So taking maybe two, three, five minutes if you can out of your day, particularly when you're feeling the heart palpitations or particularly anxious at any time of day for any of you, not just Jay. And during that time, maybe sitting with your spine nice and tall, the body as relaxed and comfortable as it can be. You could be lying down as well. If it's comfortable for you, allowing the eyes to close or letting your gaze drop downward. So you're focusing your attention on one point. And then beginning by attuning your attention to the breath itself. Simply by noticing. Can you even notice the breath? When you notice your breath, what do you notice about it? Do you notice the temperature of the air as you breathe it in? Does that temperature change when you breathe it out? Do you notice any particular smells? And can you let those smells be there, but let them be in the background? Just acknowledge them and let them go. Can you notice where maybe you feel your breath in your body? Can you feel the breath? In other words, can you feel movement near the chest as you naturally inhale and exhale without needing to force or change it? Can you feel movement down lower at the belly? Once you gain an awareness of your own natural breathing rhythm, then perhaps if you like, you can maybe add in that mental repetition. So maybe the next time you inhale, you repeat silently in your mind, inhale. And then repeating with your exhale silently in your mind, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And take a few minutes to stay focused with this as best you can. If you get distracted, that's okay. Just start again. Again, the breath is portable. You can do this anywhere. Nobody needs to know what you're doing. You could be meditating on the breath on the bus, on an airplane, at your workspace, during a meeting, while still perhaps even being able to pay attention if you get really skilled at this. But how can you remain calm? How can you try to decrease anxiety, decrease the presence of vata, in particular in a, in a time or a period where you're feeling fairly uncontrolled or feeling more heightened anxiety? So Jay, if you wake in the night having these feelings, maybe try and, and apply this. I know that you practice yoga regularly yourself. You've got a great, beautiful practice. So maybe just try tweaking it to when you wake in the night and you feel this, maybe just to see if it's possible to take a couple of moments to focus on that breath meditation and see if you notice a change, see if it helps. So this is, uh, this is all I have to offer at this point. And if there's further questions around this, uh, again, certainly go see your doctor if you're having experiences of heart palpitations and, and feeling like your heart is racing out of control. It's definitely something worth getting checked out, just so at least you've got a baseline to know, no, I am okay, it's fine, in terms of medically fine. And then I'll see what I can apply in my own tool belt um, to remedy this on my own. So I wish you all the best of health and enjoy each breath, enjoy your life, and enjoy the sunny day. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.